With its factory tuning and data center DNA, an Intel 730 series SSD is an amazing choice for gamers and performance enthusiasts. So the last time I covered anything from G-Skill was back in December 2012, when they sent their Ripjaw Z quad channel kit over to me for some RAM disk testing. At the time, I did a very casual unboxing in a chair in my living room with my son and my cat in my lap. Uh, accompanying me, and I didn't really make much of a fuss about the product because to me I was just like, eh, it's RAM. This time, I feel like I owe them a bit more fanfare because that 32 gig kit, or those 32 gig kits, they sent two of them, of 1866 RAM has been some of the most rock solid memory either Slick or I have ever encountered. Compared to other high capacity kits that we have around the office, it is a dream to work with and we use it on every test bench. Mainstream Intel, Enthusiast Intel, and even AMD. The problem is that the stuff we have is from back when 1866 RAM was the bee's knees. It's a year and a half old SKU, and with the way high speed memory prices have changed since then, DDR3 2133 and 2400 MHz kits are much more accessible and we're starting to get a lot of requests from viewers to use higher speed memory in our testing. It's just that we hate using all the other stuff. So I reached out to G-Skill about getting eight sticks of their DDR3 2400 MHz RAM. I chose their 64 gig kit because the way that sticks get jumbled around between test benches, it's the only way that we'll really know that each of them is hand validated to operate correctly with each other across all the benches. And as an extra bonus, we happen to have an X79 Deluxe ASUS board, which is one of the only boards that this kit is validated to work in with all eight DIMMs at the same time running at 2400 megahertz. So that'll be fun if we ever want to play around with it. Anyway, with that history lesson out of the way, let's get into the product itself. This is one of the most luxuriously packaged kits I have ever seen. The outer box has gold lettering and the individual serial numbers of every single stick inside. And when you open it up, you get two individual boxes, each of which you open up to find a little clip-on memory fan that uses two 50 millimeter fans to keep your RAM cool. In the past, I used to say that these RAM coolers were kind of stupid, and I still don't care for the added bulk of them. In our test system here, they made it impossible to install a graphics card in the top slot, but I've seen them make a difference to RAM stability, so if you're going to push these sticks to 2400 megahertz or even overvolt them past the rated 1.65 volts, I would recommend installing them. One bit of constructive criticism for G-Skill is I'd like to see them terminated in three pin connectors so I can easily hook them up to a fan controller. Anyway, after that, each stick is individually wrapped in a protective foam wrapping, and if you've ever seen a Ripjaw Z module, then once we get it out of the foam, they'll look pretty familiar to you. Uh, we use them all the time, so the saw teeth styled top of the heat sink doesn't stand out to me much anymore, and I think there are more eye-catching memory kits out there, like with you know LED lighting and stuff, but for these, it was more about the practicality of them than necessarily the pure looks. The RAM supports two different 2400 MHz XMP profiles, or you can set things up manually. I'm planning on using them in a Gigabyte X79 UP4 motherboard for my upcoming Mac Pro Killer Hackintosh guide, so I went ahead and installed the kits in there. And while I wasn't able to run 2400 MHz with all eight modules in, which G-Skill told me I wasn't going to be able to do, 2133 MHz was easy, so even just in any random board, these are definitely imp an improvement over our old stick and I did run around and throw them in a couple different boards around the office and I'm getting that same easy, no tweaks required for basic stability operation that I have come to expect, which is a huge relief. So now we can bring you guys higher memory speeds in our benchmarks. I told G-Skill that we don't really do memory showcases anymore and that I was only going to use the memory in our Hackintosh guide as well as on our test benches, so they'll probably be a bit surprised to see this, but Given how little I talk about the gear that we use behind the scenes here, I thought that this was an opportunity to not only showcase this particular RAM kit, but also give you some insight into our testing procedures and our experience with all the different products that we get to touch as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say to me or the rest of the team about this video. If you thought it was fantastic or you thought it was just terrible. I guess you could also just thumbs up or thumbs down. But 
If you did like it, please do go ahead and support us. We have a support us link in the video description. You can give us a monthly contribution. You can buy a t-shirt. We have some cool t-shirts now. And you can even just change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a little kickback every time you buy stuff. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Oh, and for those of you who have been complaining that you missed the unboxings, we kind of worked it into the B-roll here. Do you think that's a good solution? Bad solution? Let us know.